You're watching Great at Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a wonderful person and a wonderful event that's going to come up in November. I have Tina Curtin. Tina. Thank you. Mark. I almost said Lindsay. Oh, okay. That's okay. That would have been a compliment. Lindsay was your daughter. Yes. And you've done a lot of things in her memory to keep her smile alive. Yes. And to keep you and your husband from dwelling on sadness, Correct. you've turned it into, I hate to say it this way, don't take it the wrong way, gladness. You're going to do yes. a comedy night. Correct. So people can laugh right. at the same time they're thinking about Lindsay. That is correct. Okay. That is correct. So that's new. That's a new yes, event. Yes, this is new. This you've is done new. a golf tournament. Yes. You've done a gala. That's right. But tell us about this event. Okay, this is um, on Sunday, November 13th. It's going to be held at the Hanson Athletic Association in Hanson. And it's a comedy show. And um, it's called Misgivings. Mm -hmm. And um, it's Father, uh, he calls himself Father Misgiving. His name is uh, Dave. And uh, he's, he's a, a wonderful man um, who actually got in touch with me. Um, I, I reached out to him. He called me back. And um, he does these ch for, for charity events, nonprofit organizations. Um, and he comes and does this comedy show. And um, it's a divine presentation of stories. And one line is about growing up Catholic, which Lindsay went to Catholic school from kindergarten till 12th grade until she passed away. Um, 10 weeks shy of graduation from Cardinal Spellman. So this is a little um, different for us because, you know, being, um, it's, it's one-liners and jokes about bazaars, birth control, nothing escapes the father's razor-sharp Irish wit. It's a hilarious interactive comedy. It includes a collection, a raffle, and an actual bingo game. Wow. So, um, you know, for everybody that's out there, it's it's well received by um, all the churches. Um, he does it m mostly um, for churches and other organizations, and has a, a huge turnout. So he offered to come and do it for us. We wanted to do something different. Um, the gala um, is in on Lindsay's anniversary, which is at the Shaw Center in February, and then we have the golf tournament, which is in memory of her for her birthday in July. So this is a pre-gala kickoff, we mm -hmm. call it. And so we wanted to do something different. We usually have a band um, that plays for us one night on a Saturday night in November, but we decided to do a comedy show because it's been 10 years since she's passed. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody could use a little laughter. For us, my husband and I, um, you know, we may laugh here and there, but certainly um, not enough. But we want other people to join us, to, to see us finally, be able to open up and see us smile. We may smile at each other from time to time mm -hmm. or just in passing a smile, but we want to see other people see, not so much that we've moved on right. because we haven't, right. or we're getting there, but we want them to laugh with us. So not only is it misgivings, but it's also going to be a luncheon of Thanksgiving. Right, misgivings, Thanksgiving, and That's it's a right. luncheon. It's, it's a luncheon, yeah. Yeah, right? 12 o'clock, the doors open at mm -hmm. the Hanson Athletic. Um, tickets can be purchased by contacting me at 508 958 1035, or they can contact me. Um, it's for Lindsay at gmail.com for tickets. And the luncheon is from um, 1230 to 130, mm -hmm. and then he goes on. His showtime is at 130, and we arranged it around the Patriots game because okay. the Patriots are playing late that night. Okay, so there you go. Um, we knew we had to do it around the Patriots schedule or we'd get nobody to go. Um, if it was a one o'clock game, forget it, that I'll be watching the Patriots. But we wanted to do it around the Patriots schedule so that everybody could get the best of both worlds. Now you were telling me before we started recording, mm -hmm. 58 scholarships so far yes. to as of yesterday. Lindsay. That yes. is amazing. Yes. So you you took a tragedy. Yes. And you were at our Southeastern Awards night. Yes. I'm on the school committee there. Yes. And you gave scholarships there, scholarships yes. at Spelman. Brockton High School. Brockton High School. Um, Westbridgewater, um, Bridgewater, all the surrounding towns. We try to 
We focus on Spelman because Lindsay went to Spelman. However, we always give one to Cardinals uh, to um, Southeastern Regional because Dave and I both are graduates from class of 1982. Okay. So we give one just to give back because we both went to school there, we met there, yeah. dated there, prom together, got married. And the rest is history. That's right. Exactly. 31 years married, started Southeastern Regional, so we always give one back to Southeastern Regional. 50 year anniversary at Southeastern this year. We're gonna have a whole series of uh, events coming up this year. I'll make sure you know about okay, them. Okay, that's great. We're gonna reach out to all the alumni. Okay. But I remember the story very vividly. Yes. Because I met you, you had called me and asked me if I could have a copy of the graduation. That's right. And we covered the spell, we've covered the spelling graduation yes. ever since I worked here. Yep. They're wonderful people to deal yes. with every year when we do that graduation. They we are. have a lot of fun over there. They we do four are. graduations. Yes. We do Brockton High Spelman, Southeastern, and we assist with Massasoit's graduation yes. and then some little ones. But the Spelman folks are really, it's, it's, it's a special family, it's a special community. It is. The people are very nice, whether we've been outdoors in the sunshine or yes. indoors in the rain. Yes. They're there, but I, I look at all the pictures I ever saw of your daughter. Yes. That were up on the boards at the gala. Yes. Or at the time, because when you see a young person that passes away too, too young. Yes. Okay, she had cystic fibrosis. She did have okay. cystic fibrosis, yes. And but she, she gave back, though, even as sick as she was. Yes. And I'm not, I don't want to make you cry. No, I know I, it's hard. No. But she had that smile on her face. The Always. picture is, a, she she's a, was a beautiful young woman. I have to tell you, uh, Mark, um, as much as Lindsay had um, things going on in her life, she did home care, IV antibiotics at home. She was sick. She never complained one day in her life. She never said, I'm too sick, I can't go to school. She never said, I can't do this. She was a cheerleader. She was president of the student council. She worked at Abington Animal Hospital. She held down a job. Um, you know, she was captain of the cheerleading team. She was just everything. She was involved with school. She was voted her senior year as most school spirit. Mm -hmm. She went to baseball games and what, anything that she could participate in, she was there. But she had a smile that would light up any room. And even the janitor of the school, he said, for all the years that he's ever worked at Cardinal Spelman High School, he said that that girl would greet me every morning with, good morning, Mr. Bovian, and at the end of each day, he would be in the parking lot, and she always said, have a good day, Mr. Bovian. We, this, this is the janitor. We all know the janitors and the secretaries are the most important people on the planet, in and my opinion. True. So, look, at, I'm glad you're doing something to put a smile on everybody's face. Yes. Not, not, not to forget, not that you're over it like you talked about, but to make her memory shine bright and put a smile on your face when you're thinking about it. And I we wanna be able to look around the room and we wanna be able to thank those people for always being there to support us because it's hard to gather people. Um, I know everybody's busy and everybody's lives are busy and to Dave and I, our world revolves around Lindsay. Every day we think about her, but what keeps me alive is the fact I have these things going on to keep her legacy alive, and it keeps me alive because without this and all of these events that we have, we wouldn't be able to give out these scholarships in her memory, and that's the most important well, thing. You're keeping her memory alive by helping other people. Exactly. And I think that's very special. So real quick, I'm going to run down. It is, I'm going to take this from yes. you so I don't get it wrong. Yes. It's, uh, it's called Misgivings. Yes. To benefit the Lindsay A. Curtin Memorial Scholarship Fund, Sunday, November 13th. It's at the Hanson Athletic Club, 171 Reed Street in Hanson. The doors open at 12, buffet luncheon at 12.30, showtime at 1.30. For tickets, Tina gave you a number. We're going to give it to you again, 508-958-1035, or email itsforlindsay at gmail.com. Tina, I can't wait to go there, and uh, we're going to keep helping you promote everything because it's, it's a wonderful thing that you're doing. I know you'd rather have Lindsay. Yes, I, I know would. that every day. Yes. But thank you for helping other students and, and thank you for having keeping me her on. memory shining bright. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.